make a lot of coffee, I'm not talking about five cups a day. I'm not talking about 10 cups a day. I'm talking about hundreds of cups a day. If that's you, then these are probably the droids that you're looking for. We're talking about the Uber Milk and the Perfect Moose, two of the best automatic milk steamers on the market today for high volume cafes. Stick around. Hey, my name's Josh. I'm here at the Coffee Science and Education Center. Here we look at equipment reviews, barista skills, and the science behind coffee. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. We've talked a lot about automated coffee tech in our Cafe 2025 report. These labor-saving devices, some baristas and cafe owners love them, some don't like them, but they're here to stay. So today, we're looking at the Perfect Moose and the Uber Milk. Now, while they both look like an evil robot, they have very different uses within the cafe environment. And we're gonna look at the pros and cons and the differences between these two machines. I should clarify, these machines are not designed for home. They're big, expensive commercial machines designed for high volume. But hey, if you really, really love your milk, I'm not gonna stop you from buying one. How it works. Now this thing works like a robotic arm. Steam one comes down and works with a coated jug. Now the coated jugs have little chips inside them and they are designated for the type of milk that you use and for the amount of volume that's inside the jug. Steam one goes down, steams up the milk, and then it comes back up, purges itself, and you clean it down. It also comes in two versions. One version where it can use the steam boiler from your existing coffee machine on the bench, or it comes with a second unit that actually plugs into the back of the Perfect Moose itself and uses its own steam boiler by itself. Here's what we like about the Perfect Moose. Flexibility. It can steam any type of milk you want, be it cow's milk or your alternative milks like oat or soy, and it also has a very small footprint. Now we all know the bench space at a cafe is premium and this small footprint is fantastic. Another thing is cleaning. Cleaning is like any other traditional steam wand. Basically, it'll steam your milk, come back up, it will tell you that it's going to purge, it purges and then it'll tell you to clean down the steam wand. Very efficient. Some of the best things about Perfect Moose that I've seen in the cafe environment and I've worked with is that in your workflow, this is like an extra steam wand just separate from your machine. It means that you can have basically your two jugs if you've got those skills to be doing two steam wands and plus you've got a third which will happen automatically. By the time your workflow is done, you have three milks and you can pump out that coffee. However, there are a few things you need to be aware of with the Perfect Moose. First of all, is that you need to measure your milk carefully. It has a precise set of scales. So per the jug that you're using, if you underfill it or overfill it, it will not start steaming until you've got the correct volume. It will tell you what you need to do. This can be frustrating if you're in a high stressful situation. Second of all is temperature. Temperature is always set to one standard program level. It will just do one level of temperature that you program in and help you get out all your standard cups of coffee. Third, Basically, the base version hooks up into your espresso machine. If your espresso machine's steam pressure goes down, you lose steam pressure everywhere, Perfect Moose included. Just some additional things about the Perfect Moose, it's speed. Speed is about 30 seconds for a large pitcher, pretty much the same speed as a traditional steam wand. Texture, it produces the same texture every time. This is perfect if you want to smash out a latte art on all your cups. And lastly, just be aware that the base system uses 10 amp power supply, your standard power point. But if you get the boiler system, it's then going to require 15 amps. This whole setup is very different to this next beast, the Uber Milk. So the Uber Milk, it is a very technical beast. And basically this machine is different in the fact that it actually creates its milk on the inside. And because it's so technical, I'm gonna tag in my boss to explain how it works. Adam. Thank you, Joe. Um, so basically the Uber Milk draws in milk uh, through a pump from some reservoir. That pump then throws the milk through a tube. Um, there's a tea uh, just before the heating section of the milk that introduces air. It's basically a micro, micro controlled metering valve. So air is like dripped into there. Um, that frothed cold milk is then passed through a series of heating elements that have been controlled through a microprocessor to deliver milk at the perfect temperature at the other end of it. Um, there's a couple of other little things inside there, but I mean, that's 
that's the meat of it yeah, um, right. in terms of how it works. Thank you very much. So in short, you basically get perfect texturized milk at the push of a button on tap. Here at Seven Miles, we've used it in our own espresso bar for over two years. We love it because it is just super fast. At the press of a button, it dispenses milk almost instantaneously. Two, it doesn't split. You can get really stable froth from it at every time and it just sticks around long enough for you to pour your milk. And third of all, it just works. Having it on our bar for two years, it has just never let us down and it's been a really incredible, consistent piece of equipment. However, here's a few things you need to know about the Uber Milk. First of all, there isn't much flexibility with this machine. It only does one milk, but it does one milk very well. If you want to do alternative milks, you need a whole nother machine. Again, this comes back down to also footprint. It is a larger machine than the Perfect Moose. Third of all, cleaning is a 30 minute process. It requires a lot of cleaning done every day. Lastly is the milk fridge. You need designated space below your Uber milk for it to draw its milk from, whether you use bladders or you use a large milk container, but it draws its milk directly from the fridge up into the Uber milk. Other things to know about the Uber milk is basically it gives you really consistent texture. You can program how much texture you want. So if you want less texture or more texture, it can do that. However, it is set for that entire milk system. The other thing about the Uber Milk is that it will require 15 amp power supply. So just make sure that you've got the right power supply to fit this machine in. Automatic milk steamers, are they worth it? Now let's talk about the money money. With the Perfect Moose and the Uber Milk, they do have a steep entry price of 10 to $11,000. But can we talk about the potential labor saving efficiency that these two systems bring to the market? The best thing about these two machines is that they act like a third arm on bar, preparing milk that you can prepare for your customers in high volume environments really easily. But now we want to know, what do you think about these automatic milk machines? Would you get one? Would you use one? Have you used one? Definitely let us know what we should review next, what, we, what you would like us to talk about next. We definitely read all those comments. So thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys next time. Now it can steam any type of milk you want, be it cow's milk or any of those alternative milks, be it oat, soy. It's the only two I can think of. Why can't I think of another one? <laughs> Camel, <laughs> goat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're living in the Himalayas.